Futures Reef, about a half mile outside of Hanalei Bay, is one of my favorite tow-in surf spots during the winter, and I go out there often with my friends. But during the summertime, it's also one of the most beautiful dive sites that I do kayak dives from uh, in the summer when the water is clear and the waves are small. A few days ago I was out at Futures doing one out of about 30 dives that I did this summer and the whole reef was covered by invasive species. Invasive species are species of fish that aren't native to Hawaii. They were brought in from other places for whatever reason and let go on the reefs. The reef out there at Futures the other day had over a thousand taiapi on it, a small yellow fish with blue stripes called a snapper. This fish was brought in from Tahiti and let go a number of years ago. This fish eats our native fish eggs. Having too many of the taiapi on the reef is really bad for the overall health of the reef. And I must have seen well over a thousand on this hour long dive. Another fish out there I saw a dozen of was the big roy. It's a peacock grouper. The roy was brought in from Tahiti in the early 50s as an additional food source for Hawaiian fishermen. Once the roy were let go on the reefs and started reproducing, they started eating up all of the native fish. They're one of the top predators. One of the problems is when the fishermen started eating the roy, some of the fishermen got sick with ciguatera poisoning. This is really a bad problem here in Hawaii because if you acquire the ciguatera toxin from the fish, it could put you in the hospital and could even kill you. This frightened most of the fishing community and nowadays almost no one catches roy for food. What's happened in the past 20 years now is the roy are starting to eat up all of the native fish and take over the reefs. This is a huge problem and within the next 20 years we may lose all of our reef fish here in Kauai and permanently damage the ecosystem if we don't take care of this problem. I've been out spearfishing the roy and collecting them. I've taken over 50 off the reef at Futures, sending them to University of Hawaii for positive ciguatera testing with the hope of developing an inexpensive test kit so we can find out which of the fish are toxic and which are not, and therefore the fishermen can go back to eating the roy. One roy will eat 20 to 30 reef fish a year, and the roy can live to be over 10 years old. You can do the math on that. One fish can eat over 300 native reef fish in their lifetime. And if there's 500 or so that live out on these reefs, they could decimate the entire reef fish population within the next few years. We really need a lot of help on this roy eradication problem. We need more divers out taking the roy off the reefs. And we also need more ciguatera studies so we can find out which of our fish are healthy to eat, which of them we can't eat, so therefore fishermen can go back to feeding their families with this large predator fish.